heard it right, it's going to be just Joe, and it's going to be all about football. He showed the same. Bam through it's in! Yes! Yes! I've seen m- many more appearances from Pablo. Fantastic inaugural guest. I have to pull out the big guns. Now then people and welcome back to the Just Joe Football Show. It's time for a reaction video. It's the England Provisional Squad announcement. 33 players have been picked ahead of the final announcement, which will be a 26-man squad. Gareth Southgate's made the decision this decision basically um, due to that man over there and of course Harry Maguire both facing late late fitness tests for the Euros. Obviously Calvin Phillips got a 96th minute or 93rd minute injury I think it was on Sunday and of course Harry Maguire is out as well after picking up an injury. So you know Gareth Southgate said himself they're part of the reason why I've done this naming a provisional 33-man England squad. Obviously, Jordan Henderson just coming back and there was issues over Nick Pope as well. Um, so I'm going to go through the England squad w- with you, you know, explain that and, and to see who, who Gareth's pick. Give my thoughts on it, of course, an admitting for some key players that I don't think should be omitted. And we'll also chat about how it's going to go from 33 down to 26. Obviously, we're going to have to get rid of seven bodies. So I'll give you my picks as well. But let's start with going through the overall England squad that he has decided to go with. So as you can see uh, there, he has gone with four goalkeepers, which for me is always a madness anyway for him to go for four goalkeepers. He's gone for Dean Henderson, Jordan Pickford, Sam Johnston and Aaron Ramsdale. For me, I always find threes too much. Just take two. But look, if you're going to go for three, fair enough. But to pick four, even in a 33-man squad, is a madness for me. Look, the number one spot's up for grabs between Pickford and Henderson. I understand that. He'll probably go with Henderson. But Sam Johnston or Aaron Ramsdale are not going to get a game of football, right? So why even bother putting one in, you know, with contention? Because they're not going to play anyway. I think what it does is takes a position away from someone who can play outfield that maybe has, an, uh, you know, a chance to impress you. And I'm not having to go at goalkeepers here, but... You only need two, man, really. Let's be honest. But anyway, he's done that. He's obviously bottled it as well as Gareth Southgate in terms of picking the right-backs. Like, he's gone with an abundance of right-backs. We know he loves right-backs. Yes, they are very talented, and it's arguably our most strongest position uh, in the England squad. But there was news coming for weeks and months that he wasn't going to include Trent, which I think is a madness, personally, because I think... I can't think of anyone better than I would want putting balls into the box when we need a goal from that position than Trent, especially when Harry's on the end of it. Do you know what I mean? So he should go. But I think he's bottled that decision again, freeing up a chance for maybe someone else who could impress, you know, like uh, Patrick Bamford, for example, who has been omitted from the squad, which I think is absolutely crazy. You know, let's not forget Patrick Bamford is second only to Harry Kane for in terms of, uh, of goals. His recent form is better than both Ollie Watkins, Dominic Calvert-Lewin and some of the others that he's been picked. His reasonings were, you know, he saw no reason to change his forward options um, based on the last, you know, few games for the European Championships. OK, that's that's... I guess that's fair enough. That's his decision. But I think pa- Paddy Bamford deserves a shout and he, he can he rightly feel hard done by, you know. And I think a lot of people are saying that, not just Leeds United fans, guys. Um, I think it's a, it's a crazy one. But let's have a look at the defenders. We've got Trent Alexander-Arnold, Harry Maguire, Tyrone Mings, Kieran Trippier, Kyle Walker, Connor Cody, Ben Chilwell, Rhys James, Ben Godfrey, Luke Shaw, John Stones and Ben White. So debutants there and Ben Godfrey, Ben White. Big shout out for Ben White. Listen, I predicted that stuff when we were in the championship. There's a video there that I did on Sky to prove that stuff. I said this guy would play for England and it proved to be the case. Um, you know, I think he deserves to be there as well. I think he's, he's an exceptional footballer and, and will go on to have a great career in the game. You know, uh, in terms of the right back situation as a game, look, he's got Trent, he's got Trippier. He's got Walker. He's got James. Do you know what I mean? You know, even Ben White could play on the right. You know, there's there's an abundance there. Ben Godfrey, you know. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see, you know, who he goes with in his final 26-man squad. In midfield, we've got Jordan Henderson, Jude Bellingham, Mason Mount, Lingard, Rice, Phillips and Ward Prowse. And attacking options, Harry Kane, Marcus Rashford, Jaden Sancho, Raheem Sterling, Ollie Watkins, Phil Foden, Bukayo Saka, Grealish, Greenwood and Dominic 
Calvert Lewin. So that's your overall squad. Let me know in the comments if you're happy with that. I understand Leeds United fans, look, you're not going to be happy. Patrick Bamford should have at least been given a call. A lot of Leeds fans actually might be happy because I've heard some say Phil Miles on all Leeds TV, for example, saying we don't want Gareth Southgate to break him. Good. I'm glad he's not going. Um, I'm not on that vibe. I would have liked Patrick to get a call. But, you know, some of the other players that deserve a mention, Jack Harrison, most goal involvements from an English midfielder this season. I understand there's abundance of talent there, but has Raheem Sterling had the season Harrison has had? No. I know Raheem Sterling is experienced and I understand why he's been picked. It's a bit tongue-in-cheek, but ultimately, Harrison deserves to be there on form and merit. Luke Ayling, he leads the whole of Europe for total yards, progressed upfield with the ball this season. I know, you know, Gareth Southgate's not going to get that out of him and, and Luke Ayling's come through at a time where we have an abundance of right-backs and some exceptional right-backs, you know, based on that as well. Uh, but absolutely buzzing for Ben White. I'm not going to lie. Uh, he joins Calvin in the England squad. I know he's a Brighton player now, but he's still, you know. And and Gareth even said his Leeds United spell put him on the free Lions radar, you know. So it's not down to Potter. It's not down to Brighton. It is, of course, down to Marcelo Bielsa and Leeds United. We're taking that as a win. And remember, I did say he would get in there at some point as well. I didn't envisage it to be this quick, but I, I, I did think he would get in there. But, guys... Look, Paddy Bamford's not in there. It's a joke. He deserves to be in there over Dominic Calvert-Lewin for me. He deserves to be in there over Ollie Watkins. I don't know what else he could have done this season. Maybe beat Harry Kane and he might have even got a shout then. <laughs> but it is, a, it is a bit of a madness. But what can you do? I think Bam Bamford's going to get his shot when Gareth Southgate's no longer in charge. And look, if we have poor Euros, he's going to be out of a job anyway, isn't he? So I'm not saying I want him because I want England to do well. I want us to win the bloody thing, but... It is what it is. But let's now talk about who we believe the seven emittees to be. Obviously, we're going to have to take it from 33 to 26. So I want to know in the comments who you believe yours are. And I'm looking at the goalkeepers. Obviously, he's going to take three. And it's the top three on that list for me. He's going to go with Henderson, Pickford and Sam Johnston. I think Aaron Ramsdale misses out. In terms of the right-back situation, guys, we've got Trent Alexander-Arnold, okay? You've got Kieran Trippier, who can also play on the left and actually won my league this season. The guy deserved to be there for me. I've not seen a lot of him, but he, he deserves to be there. You've got Rhys James. And of course, you have Kyle Walker, who, who can play on the right of the back three as well. Kyle Walker goes. Trippier goes. I think for me, Rhys James misses out. That would be my pick. It probably won't be Gareth, but I think Reese James misses out, so he would be mine that would drop out. Also, out of the defenders that are available as well, Connor Cody would come out and Ben Godfrey. I would get rid of both Connor Cody and Ben Godfrey. They would both be out. I mean, we've got an abundance of centre-backs. Like I said, Kyle Walker can play there. That would leave you still with John Stones. I mean, the left-back situation sounds... Uh, Luke Shaw's been probably the best left-back in Europe. Ben Chilwell's had a decent season as well. You've got John Stones... You know, you've got Kyle Walker who can play there. Tyrone Mings, who I, I don't like, if I'm being honest. I think Conza deserves it over him, but there you go. You've got Harry Maguire as well, of course. Um, ben White can play there. So, yeah, I would lose Godfrey and Reese James from that list as well. Moving into the midfielders, guys, provided Calvin's fit, he goes 100%. I think the fact that Gareth said he's one of the reasons why they've had to call it shows you that he's going to go. Uh, and I think James Ward-Prowse misses out. I think James Ward-Prowse, there's a drop-off in quality there for me personally between the others that in picked. I believe Jesse deserves to be in there. I'm a massive fan of Mason Mount. Look, Bellingham is a huge talent. He's going to be the future. Get him in there for me. Um, Henderson's Henderson, of course. Uh, Lingard, fantastic season. So James Ward-Prowse would knock out for me out of that list. In terms of the forwards, guys, of course, Harry Kane goes, Rashford goes, Sancho goes, Sterling goes. Ollie Watkins, no. Not for me. He shouldn't be in there anyway. Paddy Bamford should be there. But I don't think he makes the 26. Villa fans won't like that, but it's just my opinion. Phil Foden, of course, goes. Generational talent. He's going to lead this England squad for years and years to come. So he has to go. Um, Jack Grealish goes. Dominic Calvert-Lewin goes. Mason Greenwood goes. I really like Mason Greenwood. I think he's an unbelievable finisher. Look, You've got to look to the future in this situation as well. You know, even in the midfield, you're looking at Rice, you're looking at Phillips, you're looking at Mount, you're looking at Bellingham. You know, future, their future, you know, up front as well. I think Mason Greenwood should go. Mason Greenwood should go. Dominic calvert Loom will go, you know, as backup to Harry Kane. Bamford should be there in my opinion, but there you go. Um, Saka, 
great player, exceptional talent, can play at left wing back, but I think that he might drop out. I mean, he might be the one to 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 drop out. Jaden Sancho, of course, goes Ster- Sterling for his experience. Watkins and Saka out of them attackers should not go. Um, J- Jack really sh- Regardless of what you think of him, again, he's generational for me. I think he's exceptional. I do, I do. I think he's a great player. He is. And I've learned to accept that fact now that we're not in a constant heat of rivalry with Villa like we were in the Championship. You know, there's a lot more fish to fry and it is what it is. But yeah, they would be my seven that would be admitted. So it'd be Ramsdale, James, Cody, Ward, Prowse, Watkins, Sackett and Godfrey. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I want to know your thoughts on Paddy Bamford missing out and just the squad as a whole. What do you make to it? No Danny Ings even over Bamford either. So a bit of a mad one. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you as always for watching. Um, there's going to be no top flight news by tonight, guys. This is going to replace that. We'll be back with the daily leads tomorrow as well. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on the England setup. And smash a like, subscribe, comment, notification bell, all that jazz. And I'll see you in a bit.